All right, we are rolling. Welcome back. Uh, today I went into the city to do a few things, to get a few things. And the first thing is a haircut. Yes, I no longer look like a caveman, so hair is cut and I also had my beard done. Every now and then I treat myself to yeah, having my beard trimmed professionally and here we are. Uh, there's this uh, barber shop that I found in the city that does a very good job. It's run by a couple of uh, Turkish people, I think. And yeah, they specialize on immense haircut and uh, beard. Uh, usually when you go to the hair salons here in, in Germany, it's all more focused around women, right? That's where they make the, the big money. And uh, for some reason, I'm sure they do a great job with uh, women's haircuts. They cannot do men to save their lives. It's just like, okay, clippers go bzz, 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 and I think I'm done. So yeah, for, for, the, uh, for quite a few years, I didn't bother going to a hair salon to get it done. I simply had my mother do it with a cheap clipper because honestly, she did just as good of a job, if not better than these professional ladies in these shops. But yeah, here uh, in this uh, new city I moved to, I found this great shop that does great haircuts and I'm very happy with them. They raised the prices due to inflation recently, but what can you do? Um, yeah, so enough talk about my haircut. I just wanted to mention that I no longer have the very puffy hair I had in the last few videos, but I think you see that too. In the city, I also got a new adapter. I was looking for these SVD to SCART adapters. As you may have realized in my um, Grand Chef video for the 3D OS that mine is giving up the ghost and no longer working correctly. But the one in the store was like 15 euros and you can get them easily online for like three or four. So I didn't buy it. And uh, I also realized when I go over here, I completely forgot that my SCART switcher uh, also has an S video in. So I'm just going to use this for now on. Of course, this needs to be plugged into the wall to uh, get the picture out and uh, well, to work in general. But uh, then I'll just set this one up and uh, use this S video to output to SCART here in the back. Um, yeah, so that's the plan. So look forward to the Grand Chef video. I just realized that today that I have another SCART converter in the house. So you can look forward to that if you watch that video, if not the like 3DO RPG uh, video I did. I think it was the last one. Uh, highly recommend it. It's a nice little unboxing. But I got this adapter because uh, over here, like I don't have a sound bar or anything set up on my TV, but I have this like old pair of uh, computer speakers and uh, I need a um, 3.5 millimeter jack to uh, RCA cable to make it work. I have one, but it, it, it doesn't like physically fit into the space I have behind the TV. Uh, so I got a cable as a converter instead, and I'll set that up later. And uh, yeah, then we can look at this game I got in the mail, because when I got home, I looked at my mailbox and it was like shoved right in there and it didn't go all the way in. And of course it was kind of stuck. So thank you, mailman. If you ever want to send anything to me, please do not use DPD. They're like the worst when it comes to actually getting the package to the recipient. So not recommended for this one. But I ordered this game. I've been after this. Well, back then when I was into this console a little bit more, I had been after this and I kind of lost track after a while. And well, it seems okay. It's well packaged. And uh, this is one of my like holy grails for the system. And it was always very hard to get. It was ported to other ones, like there's a DVD port for like standard DVD, and there's a PC version you can easily get on good old games today. And the only console version of this is on the CDI. Yes, I'm getting a new CDI game. And it is Shadowan Kingdom 2. And you think, well, what the hell is Shadowan? What is Kingdom 2? Is that Kingdom 1? Yes, yes, that is 
Um, a little game, one of my favorites on the 3DO. I have a full playthrough of that online. I recently um, re-uploaded that one or set it to public because I accidentally privated it. It's a Kingdom, The Far Reaches. This is the 3DO version. There's also a CDI version, but I have it on 3DO. Um, I think the picture quality is slightly better on CDI, but uh, you have to zoom in a lot more. And uh, just overall, it's uh, not as nice to play as far as I've seen. But actually, maybe for the collection, I may get Kingdom, The Far Reaches for the CDI as well. It's actually an arcade game or an Halcyon game for the system, uh, if anyone knows that one. Uh, that was called Thayer's Quest back in the day. And uh, it, like, it got an arcade release, the Halcyon was cancelled, it was never quite released, it wasn't a huge success. It's a FMV like animated game, similar to uh, Dragon Slayer, however it's not a like, quick time event game, it's an like, adventure, point and click adventure game. And I am a huge fan of it. Like this is this is a great game. I had a lot of fun with this one. And uh, Thea's quest is just the first like half or first third of the story they had planned. And of course, because it never really got released completely, um, they never finished the story until it was re-released in the 90s as Kingdom of the Far Reaches. And uh, then it was a small success, and they had the budget to come out with Shadowan, which is the second half of the story. Um, by the time they did this in 1959, I think, um, of course, technology has uh, advanced the animation styles completely different in this one than it is here. So this looks very close to um, like a, a Don Bluth game. So this is very, very close in quality to like Dragon's Lair and um, the, the other games back then, or even like 70s Disney movies. This one, animation-wise, is closer to like TV animation quality. So it's, it's quite a step down. So we have here we have the disc. Let's check if the disc was well, actually relatively scratch-free. I had this imported from the Netherlands because, of course, Philips is the Dutch company. And uh, if you want to get CDI games, you're probably going to get them imported from the Netherlands. So, sorry, Americans, uh, black and white manual, they tell the story probably of yeah, the story of the five kingdoms. And in the first game, you visit three of them, and this one has the second two. I remember when looking at this game, oh, and it's just in different languages, apparently. Is there anything else in here? Yeah, not really. Um, I remember when I looked at gameplay for this, there were quite a bit of gruesome and very graphic death sequences. So <laughs> I'm looking forward to that. And um, <coughs> to play this one, I still have a bit of a cold. I need to get over that. I've had it for weeks now and I just hope it's over soon. So we have Kingdom 2, it actually doesn't say Kingdom 2 anywhere. The exciting sequel to Kingdom The Far Reaches. But the like, actual title of it, maybe for this PC version then, is Kingdom 2 Shadow Arm, and here it's just Shadow Arm. So they kind of hide the fact that you need to play the first one too. Um, yeah, so honestly, I haven't set up my CDI in probably five years now. And I don't know if it still works. I bought this just on a whim because I saw, oh yeah, that's a good deal. I'm getting that because it's kind of rare. You can find it. It's not expensive. Uh, I got this for 20 euros, I think. And I think it was like 12 euros shipped to me. So 32, which is pricey. But uh, for one of the probably better games on the CDI you want to play, this one is probably worth it. So Let's move over to the TV. I'll set up my uh, adapter cable that flew to the ground uh, for the audio and we will plug in the CDI to check that out. All right, we got the CDI running right here and the timekeeper battery is still working, which is nice to see. As fans of the CDI may know, the timekeeper battery is basically the thing that keeps the entire system alive. And if it dies, the repair is very hard and tricky to do. 
Now let's see if the disk drive still works. Fantastic. So I uh, put in the, uh, I plugged in the um, speakers. I'm not sure if they're working. So um, yeah, Kingdom Shadow Arm, the quest continues. Let's see what we can do. It's loading apparently, okay. Is there a sound? The Argent King entered the amulet into its five pieces. Oh, right. the sound is running. <laughs> Mobus then hid the pieces one to another. Many years later, a young man named Latham Candor set out to rejoin the amulet. He searched for the relics with the help of his mentor, the wizard Dayron. All right, let's keep skipping here. We don't need to watch the entire introduction. Okay, so we have uh, play, we have restore, which is probably the safe feature. Oh, I completely forgot how mushy the D-pad on the CI is. So let's click on play and check it out. Yeah, like the character models, like everything is completely different. You still have the items from the end of the first game, which is pretty nice. You have this uh, morning star over here, I remember having that one. And, well, this really just picks right up from the first part. So let's see, can we sort the princess? So what do we do then? Okay, well, with the um, two button, we can open up a menu. Yes, this is how the CI version of Kingdom 1 was as well. We had to scroll around, whereas on the 3DO, you had all on one screen. So that was a bit annoying, but let's see. Yeah, the CDI actually, uh, let, let me rant a little bit about people <coughs> complaining about the CDI. Like, uh, there's always the common complaint that, uh, hey, we got a, uh, like, uh, do you see this? I don't have the screen on here. Oh, now you see it. Like, you have three buttons on the 3DI. Why are you not using all three buttons? Well, there are no three buttons. We have button one, we have button two, and we have button, button one plus two. Most CDI controllers, um, actually, is this? Yes. So this CDI controller only has two buttons. Like there's one and two. These are the same. They're both button one. And then we, have, then we have button two. Now this, because it's a game controller, most of the games needed more than two buttons. And you, they did that by doing pressing one and two at the same time. And this is simply a shortcut to do this. When you look very closely, I don't know, you can probably not see this on the video. But like the three, these three bubbles, they're not three bubbles, they're one plus two. So please stop complaining about that. <laughs> so uh, yeah, let's see about this. Oh no, I did the wrong button again. An ancient tapestry. Maybe it's magical. A magic tapestry. Let's see. Can we do something with it? Like, can I, can I sort it? Like, I, I cannot click on anything right here. I need to look up some of the manual, if, if I can do anything. Ah, okay, when I can click on something, it goes into this little, um, I don't know, crosshair thing. What are you still doing here? You are needed in the far reaches. The tapestry you've seen will show you the way there. You must hurry. By the way, I said you have one of these CDI models that only output composite, so no SCART. Uh, the CDI is known for having fantastic picture quality. Like even for composite, this is clean and this is very nice. Like other consoles would be uh, like begging for picture quality like this. 
Uh, one of the reasons is because the entire system actually runs in 480i, which wasn't the standard until like the PS2 hit. So this was like 10 years ahead of its time. And one of the reasons is that this is not a games console, as many of you know. Uh, this is a video playing device. So picture quality is very important. So the resolution is basically doubled. And another one of the advantages is that you don't need converters or anything to plug it into a modern TV. At least it's not as necessary because the problem with many old consoles is that the TV usually sees it as uh, 480i instead of 240p. But because this console natively outputs in 480i, a TV can perfectly uh, like output that like, and deinterlace it. So the picture quality, even with our converter, is very nice. Similar, th similar thing about the 3DO, that one also outp outputs in 480i, however it internally renders in 240p, so 240p is still uh, preferred by many people, but because the output is interlaced, it can like display it on a TV without much of conversion needs. So let's see, can we do like, click on the scroll. So yes, I as a 3DO fan will always defend the 3DO and the CDI like as a system is fantastic. However, yeah, it's quite lacking in games. I have to admit that in most of the games, like there are some fantastic games on there. Um, like Lost Eden is one of my favorites. And the definitive version is on CDI. But of course, there's also a PC version, and I think it's modded now that, you, that it uses the CDI music, so that is technically the definitive one. And yeah, there are a lot of educational games, but you have to keep in mind this was made as a like, video playing and interactive movie machine. Like this was made, like one, these devices here, um, like this is the uh, CDI 490, I think this is one of the, of the kiosk models. It is more consolized than like the very big versions that look like laser disc players. Um, but overall, this is still made to like be plugged into a system somewhere and used at. Um, I know a lot of driving schools uh, used CDIs for quite a long time for like the PowerPoint presentations and interactive quizzes and all of that. So yeah, we are in the middle of Shadowan. All right, so I should go to the army, all right. Okay, so I don't want to bore you too much. We checked out the game, you know what this looks like. Uh, if I, uh, I plan on finishing this, I really want to see the end of the story and uh, maybe I'll do another playthrough. In the meantime, you can check out my Kingdom the Far Reaches playthrough. I mean, it's like five or six years old, if not older at this point, probably like eight years now, 2014, 2015. Somewhere around that, so quite old. And uh, yeah, if you want to check that out, I, I think it's still entertaining. There are a lot of arms going on, but I still do that today. So thank you very much for watching. This is Kingdom 2 Shadowan, one of my games I've been looking for forever since I played the first one. And since I got my CDI in 2016 or 17, I've been wanting to get this and I finally bit the bullet and ordered it. Thanks very much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.